So this package arrived just a few hours ago. Wait, this one arrived a few hours ago. In this package there's my new wide field lens for astrophotography, the Samyang 50mm 1.4. So let's get a better look of this lens. Because with a hobby that takes place in darkness, the aperture is everything you need and 1.4 is about the maximum I can afford. And I hope together with this lens, the DSLR you see me through right now, and my star tracker, I will have a very mobile and portable setup to bring anywhere to photograph constellations and maybe some deep sky objects if I get some dark skies. Which I know won't happen, but I may need to travel. Let's see. Let's open this bad boy up and find out what's inside. So let me just get a real sharp knife, wherever it is, here it is. I have to admit this package seems kinda big, for a lens probably this big, but let's see how good it's insulated and protected in there. I guess that's the main part of this big package. Can't do it over there. Alright. Well, that's what I meant. Packaging, packaging. Here it is. Well, holding a new lens in your hand is always a nice thing. So is there anything else in this package? I highly doubt it. There is. Well, it's just a magazine. I'm not that highly interested in daytime photography, but maybe I will take a look through this one. Some time later. There's something more. Just advertising and of course the invoice. And that's it. Samyang 50mm f1.4, manual focus. There's no seal on this one, but let's open it up. Well, the first thing you always see with the new lenses... This shape is always nice. Nice and protected. Yes! I have one of these camera bags for the wide field lens I have. The 14mm also came with this. It's indeed very nice. So let's put this aside. You always want your camera gear to be protected. Instruction manual. It feels very heavy indeed. I did not expect that. And there's nothing more in here. So let's get this one out of there. It feels quite cold, I guess because there's a lot of metal on there. And the look is extremely nice. Alright, let's get the shield off there. Always nice. Maybe not that good for taking flat frames, being this shape, not a straight cylinder. Let's see. And this one. Let's get, get a closer look at that. Of course for my Canon EF mount for the Canon 6D Mark II. The focus is extremely smooth. Focusing is really extremely smooth, I like that a lot. And the aperture? Much more silent than the 14mm, that's nice. And now for the best part. Look at this gigantic opening. 1.4 really needs a lot of light. Yes. 
looking through there alone. There's so much light going through this lens, this looks amazing. The quality is there, it feels heavy, it doesn't feel like any plastic, there's metal all around. A smooth focus ring. And let's put this on there. Where is, here it is. Yes, a nice snap. Look at this beauty. That's amazing. This feels very nice. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Aperture, I don't know how they are called. Blades, I think they're called blades. Eight aperture blades. The bokeh of this will be really nice and smooth. The focus goes from, where's the meters? Meters over here. From 45 centimeters to up to three meters and then infinity. All right, let's put this one on the DSLR. I have it set on 1.4 right now, of course. And I will turn the focus wheel right now. Look at this gigantic bokeh and unsharpness. Unsharpness, I don't know what it's called, I don't care. This is amazing. Right now it's on the old lens, which I used before. Such a smooth focus and you're so sharp. So this is maximum and now where is the focus of this one? Over here. Wow. This is amazing. So let me focus back on this one. The first lens is of course amazing. So this is the first actually portrait lens I'm using. And I'm pretty sure that these, I'm just looking at the screen of the DSLR right now. And I think the videos will be much better with that. So I have the ISO on 500 right now, 400 even, and 60 frames per second in 1.4. This is an amazing illumination. All right, sadly, I can't do much more with that lens right now. First of all, because it's day and I want to use it in the night. And secondly, because it's cloudy as hell. And maybe there will be a few clear spots this night so I can get out and maybe photograph Orion. So stay tuned for the next videos about this lens. I will maybe make two or three in the night and then in the backyard shooting deep sky with this as my filming lens. All right, I'm in my backyard right now. With my eyes, I can't see anything right here. Maybe the street light. Oh, it's bright. But look at this. What the actual? Look at this. With this lens, I can see more stars than with my own eyes. There's Cassiopeia. There's Polaris. The little dipper right there. Just look at that, that's amazing. Alright, here I am at my remote location. And here you can see Auriga. Let me wind up the tracker. And focus. Look at that. Oh wow. I can pretty much leave the focus like this now. The ISO is at H2 maximum, what this camera can do. There's Lyra. There is Cygnus. That's supposed to be the Milky Way, but... Uh... Alright, I'm gonna make this shot right here with the Pleiades over this tree. Hang on. Look at that! I will now put them right in the center of the frame and start shooting exposures. And they actually can shoot that long. 10 seconds with ISO 6400 will be too much. But let's take this shot, this looks amazing. As for me, my name is Tim, I'm an astro addict, it's getting really cold. And I wish you clear skies and may the night be with us. <laughs> <laughs>